Welcome everyone to German Tool Reviews. Today we have the Ochsenkopf 48-0000 aluminum wood splitting wedge. Ochsenkopf translates to ox head in English. One of my steel wedges literally broke in half and I was in need of another wedge as you should always have at least two splitting wedges in case one gets stuck. I was hesitant to buy an aluminum splitting wedge knowing how soft it is compared to steel but I was intrigued by the twisting design. I've been using this wedge for a couple of months before this review, which is why the label has almost disappeared and the head is beat up a bit. If we take a look at the catalog listing, there are some important safety notes that I want to mention. Specifically the second note that indicates aluminum wedges must be driven in with appropriate tools such as a splitting hammer. Admittedly, I was using a regular four pound sledgehammer the first couple of times I was using this. As a result, you will end up with a face that looks something like this. Therefore, I wanted to wait until I got an Ochsenkopf approved splitting hammer to complete this review. Luckily, I was able to pick up a Big Ox 3kg splitting maw, which is the recommended tool for striking these aluminum wedges. The catalog listing simply lists the material as high grade aluminum. It is definitely an aluminum alloy and appears to be harder than the more common 6061. My guess is, is that it is a 7075 alloy, which is around 90% pure aluminum, with zinc, magnesium, and copper making up the remaining elements. The angle grooves cut into the wedge are supposed to prevent spring back. These appear to be done post casting with a stamp. The larger grooves near the top of the wedge appear to be milled, but also could be part of the casting and cleaned up with an end mill. On one side of the wedge you have the Ochsenkopf logo. On the opposite side you have the Ochsenkopf name, the Ghidorah logo, and the German text Sicherheitskellerlumgeschmiedet, which translates to Aluminum Forge Safety Wedge. I cut up this big ash tree that fell during a storm, so let's split these pieces with the wedge. The biggest difference you will notice with the aluminum wedge other than the weight is the sound that it makes. First, listen to the sound the steel wedge makes. Now listen to the sound the aluminum wedge makes. There's definitely a lot more bounce with the steel wedge. The maul on the aluminum wedge sort of has the effect of a dead blow hammer. Let's take a look at the beating the wedge took. It actually held up much better than I thought a piece of aluminum would. You definitely need to use a striking hammer that is close to the size of the striking face on the wedge. The big ox splitting maul performed beautifully for this task. I love the steel sleeve on the maul because as you can see I did miss a couple of times. The gunk that you see on the wedge is a result of soft or rotten spots on the wood. I found that using a crosscut chisel by hand worked great in cleaning out the angled grooves. Well that wraps up the review of the Ochsenkopf 48-0000 aluminum splitting wedge. Check out the link in the description below to a full review that includes additional high resolution photos. Also check out the new GermanToolReviews.com website that I launched last weekend. If you like this video subscribe for more reviews of German brand tools.